welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my March haul video for you guys. Now I try so hard to patiently wait for all of my makeup products to accumulate in this basket so I can film this video for you guys. And I feel like everything I need is already here. So let's get into it. I really look forward to these videos so I hope you enjoy my March haul. Okay guys, so the first thing I got for this haul is this color by Kat Von D. This is one of her newest Everlasting Liquid Lipstick shades. I got the shade Milagro and I saw some really cool shades on her website and I kind of wanted like three or four of them, but I thought that would be excessive and she was doing 20% off her website like friends and family and I had like four in my cart because I wanted to get the $50 free shipping and I was like, Karen, this is a freaking scam. You don't need four or five. Just get the one color you really, really want and move on with your life. So I did. I just got the one color I want and I really like the shade. It's a very rusty um, color. I've worn this in a bunch of videos so I don't feel like I need to swatch it for you guys. But it is very flattering on my skin tone and I think it's going to be a really fun transition shade to spring. And I also think I'm really going to enjoy wearing this in fall because it's that awesome rusty shade that's going to be super trendy as always. Now these items have been one of my favorites this month already. I picked up this one originally. This is the Pixie Liquid Fairy Lights in the shade Crystalline and I believe I saw Angelica talk about one of these shades and I was like ooh if Angelica likes it I'll probably like it and Pixie is not a brand I've tried a whole lot from and I was just so pleasantly surprised by this product and it's 15 bucks which is perfect because it's half the price of the Stila ones and so I ended up buying all of them as soon as I got paid. So I got the shade. This one is called Crystalline. I got Bare Brilliance. I got Passion Light, Rose Gold, and Sunray and these are so pretty. They're all pretty much really nice like neutral shades that we could all wear. And I've even worn these to work just to, you know, make a dramatic makeup look. But they're so cool, so affordable, and I think definitely worth the investment if you wanted to try the ones by Stila. Okay, so hear me out. Do you guys ever have those days where you're just in the mood to buy something and so you do? That's what happened when I picked this up. This is the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream and it says it contains six rare African oils. Oh my goodness. And this is basically like a moisturizer and I was so excited to get my hands on this because, and here's how I justified it. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm already almost out of my Juno oil and it feels like my skin is like already like used to it and doesn't feel as hydrated as it used to when I put Juno oil on. I need something different. I need something new. So of course I went for this. I did talk to one of my friends on Instagram and she said this was pretty good. She said it was really thick though. So I'm really curious to try it out, but I haven't really tried anything from Drunk Elephant except their lip balm, which was awful. Oh, actually, I have the eye cream too, the green one, and so I don't really like that one much either, but I'm excited to try this, and as you guys can see, this won Allure's Best of Beauty Award. So that's kind of cool, right? I, I guess that makes it important, so I'm going to try it out. I will let you guys know my thoughts. Here is one I recently had a swatch party for. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Mini Palette. This is the one in like rose something. It's called Subversive and I don't really have a lot of feelings about this palette yet. Personally, right, I do think it's a little bit overpriced. I'm actually wearing it on my eyeballs right now and I don't know, I wasn't very impressed with any of our mini palettes which is why I only bought one. And uh, I don't have like a complete review yet in my brain, but it's just not very unique right now. And I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. I bought the Real Techniques Body Size Sponge. Now there is a smaller sponge, but I heard Casey Holmes talking about these sponges and she said she liked the one for body to use on her foundation because it just made it really quick for her to put on her foundation. And I must say I do agree. The only thing is, this is so big, it is really hard to like maneuver on your face. But I think once you get the hang of it, it'll be okay. So yeah, I just wanted to try that out for myself. 
and see if it was a good trick. This is a palette I've had my eye on forever. This is by the brand Pinky Rose Cosmetics. It's an indie company and it's called the Transition Palette. They actually have two of these. I think I found this brand on Instagram and I was like eyeballing this thing forever. Now these usually retail for $21, but I managed to find this one on sale. So I definitely wanted to pick it up and try it out because I was curious about the brand. I'm really into like these pink berry tones. So I feel like I did get a good score and now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, wow, I'm really seeing a lot of resemblance here in the shades. So I'll be interested to see if there are any dupes because this is a $21 palette and this is a $55 palette and you get way more product in the Pinky Rose one. So that'll be an interesting thing to see but as you guys can tell, I have not used this puppy yet so very very excited to film this video so I can play with these products. Okay, another thing I did pick up from Drunk Elephant is their Sea Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream and this is for firm and brightening. I heard about this and it just launched so I was really curious. I am kind of a sucker for eye creams because my under eye is pretty dry and I want to find like an awesome eye cream. I'm even trying out the one from Sunday Riley. Not that impressed with it. I don't know if I should return it because I just didn't see a huge difference in it. But then I don't really have a really good eye cream either, so I don't know what to compare it to. I just feel like I should get more for an eye cream, you know? And this puppy was not cheap, so if it's not good, I'm taking it back, yo. Okay, I'm still trying to find out what my perfect shade is in the Huda Foundation. I feel like I bought so many colors, I literally have lost track. They did restock these like last week or something, so I bought two more shades. I originally thought I was this shade, which is gingerbread, which is 430, but I'm wearing shade I'm wearing shade 330 right now, which was butter pecan, I think. And then I bought Tres Leches, because that's the shade that my friends told me they were. And we wear the same shade in the NARS foundation, which is like an exact match to me. So I thought I'd try that. And then I also got Baklava because I wasn't sure because the color in between these two is the one I have. is the one I'm wearing on my face today. It starts off so pale on my skin and then it oxidizes. But I'm also looking at myself in the viewfinder and I feel like it's too light. So I never fucking know and I've been trying to color match myself to this foundation for freaking ever. I currently have four different shades of this foundation in my possession. I really need to get my shit together because this is now 430 and I have 340. So the, I mean, it's like, it's crazy because this one is really, really dark. So how do I wear these? And I just, I, I can't. So <laughs> I'm gonna try it out. I will see, I will let you guys know if I figure out my perfect shade. I will put it in the description box so you guys can check it out and see if that helps you. I watch Andrea Matiliano here on YouTube and she loves this product, the Urban Decay Velvetizer. And I've used it a couple of times but nothing, not enough to tell you anything about it really specifically. But I'm excited to have it in my collection and I do want to try and use it more. It's basically like a mix-in medium that's supposed to make your foundation more full coverage. I don't really know if I can use this as, as a setting powder. It is really expensive, so I probably don't want to just like set my makeup with it when I have a million other powders that I can do that with. But she really, really likes this stuff, so I'm really curious to see what it'll do to my skin because I'm always trying to make my makeup game stronger. More shadows that I picked up. These are from the brand Sydney Grace. And I actually have a swatch party video on these guys, so I will link it up in the cards for you if you're interested in checking it out. Like I said multiple times, I'm really into indie brands right now. So of course I had to try out Sydney Grace and that is the winter bundle. So excited to own that. Another indie brand I got to try out, they are now available for purchase at Ulta.com, is the Mean Girl Storybook Cosmetics Palette. And I haven't used this on my eyes yet, but I do have a swatch party. so. If I can link it up in the cards, I will. Otherwise, hopefully, it's in the description box. I'm really bad at linking stuff in description boxes, but I will try my best. So yeah, watch the swatch videos on these. I think that'll be really fun for you guys. 
Here is another palette that I just swatched for you guys. This is the Creepy Cute palette by Strobe Cosmetics. Super duper fun, so excited to be filming this video again so I can start playing with this guy because I try to keep them in the basket so I don't lose track of all the shit I buy because God knows I buy too much makeup, to be honest. Here is something I really, really wanted because I've had such good luck with NARS's face palettes this last year, so I did pick up the blush palette. This is the Wanted 2. There is a lighter palette. I picked up the darker one because these shades are just like so me. So I'm so excited to dip into this yummy, yummy face palette. Give you guys my thoughts soon. Okay, I did pick up the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is one of my favorite setting spray, primer water, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I think it works great as a setting spray. I know it's supposed to be a primer water, but I can use this before makeup, after makeup, during the day when I just want to freshen up my makeup. It's a wonderful product. I know a lot of people give this product a bad rap and say it's basically water. If it is just water, it's sure fooling me because it makes me feel all kinds of happy inside. So just want to give it a shout out. Here is a little Earth Therapeutics mask I picked up. Super fun times. This is a little product I got from Influencer. This is the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. Again, love a good eye cream. The only reason I haven't dug into this is because I'm not a fan of Ola Hendrickson. And I don't know. I mean, it was free, so I'm going to try it out. But I'm just not drawn to it. And it also says it's a vitamin C collagen booster. So maybe I'll compare them. We'll see what happens. I just haven't met an eye cream I really like. So you guys can tell I'm a little bit apprehensive. Now this was a recommendation by Nicole from Young Wild and Polish, I believe, is the first person I saw talking about this. These are the Sonia Kashuk Makeup Blender Duos. Of course I got the two pack because one is like $8 and two are 10 so it seemed like the logical thing to do. I don't need a new makeup sponge by any means, but Sonia Kashuk just revamped their entire line at Target. And I wasn't even going to get these because, you know, sponges can really be a hit or miss for me. But I just heard so many good things about these that I was like, sure, I'll buy it. And they get really big when they're wet too, so I'm, I'm really excited to see what it does. Now the last purchase of the month is this Viseart Editorial Brights palette. I actually have had this for a while and talked about it in a few different videos. And my original Viseart Editorial Brights palette was actually broken when it came and I was Instagram storying it. And News Beauty Pro, which is where I bought this palette from, saw my Instagram stories. And they sent me a brand new Viseart palette, which was really, really nice of them. They really didn't have to do that, so I really want to give them a huge shout out for their brilliant customer service because they did an amazing job. Like, all I did was tag them while I was Instagram storying, and within like that day, I had a DM. Somebody had found my order, and she like emailed me, like their head of customer service or whatever. She like emailed me, said, like, Don't worry, a new palette's on its way, sent me tracking. Like, it was amazing. Like, it was freaking amazing. I've never had such good customer service and I think it's so, so wonderful. So if you guys are looking for any Viseart products, I would 100% recommend shopping from Muse Beauty Pro. They are a pro website and they work very closely with the Viseart brand because Viseart was a pro brand. I don't know if they're still considered a pro makeup brand because they're now releasing palettes like it's their job, which it is, but anyway. You know what I mean, but they were amazing and I was just so impressed. So I have to tell you guys about it because that was really cool. This is not sponsored. Like I said, I just had a really great customer service experience. My background is in marketing. So anytime I have really good customer service, I feel like I need to let everyone know because people always talk about the bad experiences they have, but nobody ever talks about the good ones. And this was exceptional. So I really appreciate it. Okay, guys, that is it for my March haul. Now, I have a few more things I kind of want to pick up. I'm going to try and get my hands on the Give Me Glow Cosmetic Staple Palette. I really freaking want that palette. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It might sell out before I get to it. I don't know yet. And I'm honestly like salivating for the Soft Glam Palette. At first, I said I wasn't going to pick it up because I don't need another neutral palette, but I swatched it in store and it was so buttery. 
So I need you guys to like give me motivation and like convince me why I don't need the Soft Glam palette if you guys wouldn't mind doing that for me. Also I really want the Kristen Leanne palette but it's so stupid because that is a recycled palette and she said something on like social media about how like Huda Beauty isn't inclusive because they're releasing this highlighting palette and it only caters to dark skin tones and that kind of like blew up which could be why maybe Urban Decay put her collection on sale, I'm not quite sure. So I'm like, no, I don't want to support you. I don't want to support you, but uh, it's, it's so cheap. It's a $20 palette, but I'm not going to do it every day. I like put it in my cart and I'm like, Karen, no, 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 no. So leave me all your positive thoughts. It's really going to help me out. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Definitely share with me what you picked up in the month of March. I would love to hear from you, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!